Greetings, one and all. The second overall pick of the 2016 NHL Entry Draft and the Winnipeg Jets right winger Patrick Laine has been diagnosed with a concussion and has no timetable for his return. Now, the incident in question occurred in Winnipeg's game against the Buffalo Sabres. The defenseman for the Buffalo Sabres, Jake McCabe, landed a crushing open ice hit on Laine with 14-12 seconds left in the third period and Line left the game shortly after. It was an absolutely massive hit. I mean, lots of people are saying that the pass that Mark Scheifele made to Patrick Line was a suicide pass. I, I think it was, it, the pass was fine, but it's the, it's the fact that the defenseman decided to pinch in. He read the play and he made the hit instead of skating back and pinching back into his zone. That's the big thing that's sort of been up for debate at the moment. Now, Patrick Line's 37 points, 21 goals and 16 assists. Currently lead NHL rookies and ties Mark Shifley for the team lead in points. Now, if you take a look at the hit here, I'll just show you the, the hit here. I agree that this hit was completely legal. There is no sign of Jake McCabe aiming for Line's head, and he keeps one skate on the ice when the hit is made. Therefore, it is a legal hit. I, I think, because usually they look for a suspension if a player leaves uh, his foot, his feet come off the ice, or if there's contact for the head. Those are the two sort of main main uh, assets when looking at a hit that could potentially be a suspension that leads to an injury towards another player. Now, I'm glad that there's no talk of a suspension for Jake McCabe. Um, I'm glad that none of that has been suggested, as the hit was clean. It was a clean hit. It was a tough hit. It was a bone-crushing hit, but it was a clean hit. Now, if a suspension was on the table, I'm glad it isn't, but if it was, I would think it would pr further prove how it seems in today's NHL you can't hit without getting some sort of penalty, whether it's a, a two-minute minor penalty in the game, whether it's a fine, whether it's a suspension. Like, lots of people have been saying for years that the NHL is getting softer and softer. Uh, to an extent, I have to agree with them, because th there's quite a lot of instances that we've had that players aren't allowed to hit without being penalised somehow, which sucks. I mean, hitting and the and the fights are a huge part of hockey. You can't shy away from that fact. So so for hits for hits as, as, like this, even though it is absolutely awful, like whilst the hit was clean, it's always sad to see such a talented young player go down with this type of injury. But you've got to keep these sort of hits in the game. They're, they're what make the game exciting. Not the after effect of Line a going out with a concussion, but the actual hit itself. That's exhilarating to watch. And then, of course, there's a massive scrum after the whistle. It adds a different element to the way those two teams play against each other. Now, of course, hopefully Patrick Line will have a speedy recovery and will be back to deking past defensemen before we know it. I'm really hoping that Patrick Line isn't too... I, I, I hope he isn't out for too long because Patrick Line is the sort of player that he's so exciting to watch. He really has revitalised the Winnipeg Jets franchise. I mean, he's leading the team in points or he's tied in the team lead with points. For a 19-year-old to do that, that is a lot to expect, but he's taking it in stride. Hopefully this uh, this won't be the start of some recurring injuries for Patrick Liner. You notice that some players, they, take a con they get a concussion and then the rest of their career, they're plagued with concussions. So hopefully this won't be the situation for Patrick Line. He should have a long, prosperous NHL career ahead of him. I'm glad there wasn't any suspension talk for Jake McCabe. It was an absolutely clean hit. But what do you think about the hit, guys? Do you think Patrick Line will be out for long? How well will Winnipeg get on without Line? I think that's also a very big question. How well do you think Winnipeg will continue on in the league without one of their leading scorers? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.